Alright guys, what is up? This is Ha Pornone and today's video is me um, asking have you ever wondered how to make a video game or um, thought when you're older you wanted to pursue a job or career in video game development? So today's video is going to be telling you a few programs which um, professional game development teams use to create their own video games and um, some that you can do as a hobbyist hobbyists, hobbyist, uh, at home. Um, so first of all I'm going to start off with Game Maker. Game Maker is probably the simplest thing, it will teach you the basic understanding of um, and concepts of programming. It's uh, You can add programming into your games, there is an option to do that, but most of it is um, dragging and dropping commands and stuff into boxes and creating events in which it can do things. Um, so if you're a complete noob um, then I would recommend this but there is one below if you're kind of getting uh, stuck with it there is a program that's um, a lot uh, quite a bit easier called Scratch. Um, if you're a complete noob and don't know much about programming or game development um, I'd advise um, you start off with Scratch but Game Maker is the one up from that. You can add in your own programming as well, and I think it's in JavaScript you can add it in. So yeah, um, the next one I'm going to be talking about is Unity. This is probably the best one for a hobbyist, or um, even though professional game creators do use Unity as well. Um, have you ever heard of Unity Web Player? That's something they use. Um, it's built with Unity, and they need Unity Web Players to be able to play the um, Unity games on a web browser. So Unity I use quite a bit. Um, I'm making a video game right now with it, um, with my friends. Um, well with one friend actually, but he's um, in a team with people and I'll be helping them and stuff. But um, I'm making a video game with it and um, I put up a... actually no wait, no I haven't. Wait. Scrap that. Um, but yeah, um, it's I've been making a video game with it. Hopefully, it should be free out soonish. Well, not soonish, you know, like a few weeks or something. But it's really, it's pretty easy to use. Um, it might seem complicated at start, but then it gets um, quite a bit more self-explanatory. This, um, you do need to do know how to code a bit. Um, either I'd advise learning how to do it or um, looking at tutorials whilst doing making a game. So and it's a 3D video game maker so I think you can make 2D with it, yeah you can um, so Unity is probably the best one for hobbies and stuff like that next one up is um, these two are the same but I'll show you this first one first first one first, that's perfect exp explanation um, UDK, Unreal Development Kit uh, UDK is used by um, Game development companies like 2K, uh, Bioshock 2 was made with it, Borderlands was made with Unreal Development Kit, um, it's really good uh, development kit, actually it's pretty confusing, it's probably, if you know how to um, make a game off uh, this, then and you want a job when you're older as a video game developer, you'll probably get in if you know how to use UDK, because UDK is probably the most complicated one to uh, use right now or something. Not many people know how to use it, so usually uh, development companies are looking for people that can use this. Um, the next one is CryEngine 3. Um, CryEngine 3 is practically the same as UD Unreal UDK. Um, it's the graphics are basically the same. The t uh, graphics on both UDK and uh, CryEngine are absolutely amazing except the games that come out with it lag quite a bit and I forgot to tell you on Unity you can um, make PS3 games, Xbox games uh, so with like UDK and CryEngine 3 you can also do that um, uh, these two programs the UDK and the CryEngine 3 they're both free um, for non-commercial use um, and Unity there is a free version but there's also a pro version which is $1,500 so 
So um, that's around about it, guys. Uh, UDK and Cryengine and three use quite a bit of scripting, and it is quite hard to use. Um, you also need a good computer because even the editor lags quite a bit. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if this was helpful, remember to leave a like; it always helps. Um, if you like my content, remember to subscribe. So adios, videos and goodbye.